Almadada reporting for Cal TV Entertainment, and this is a taste of the mission. What is it about the Mission District that makes it so unique? Um, I think that the Mission District has gone through generations of diversity and it continues to evolve with this wave of technology. So you own Tacolicious as well. How does your vision of Tacolicious and Chino differ and kind of where did both of those come from? Um, you know, they, they actually have everything in common and nothing in common. They're both, um, they're both passion projects and they're both extensions of who I am as a person. I like things casual and easy and without any kind of pretentiousness um, and I like delicious food at the center of it. Does Chino have a signature dish or something that you particularly like uh, for yourself I guess? Yeah, you know what, we started the entire restaurant based around Shaolong Bao soup dumplings and we were fortunate enough to find Leo Gan who's from Shanghai and he's in his late 50s and he's been making Shaolong Bao his entire life and we have him stationed over here. And he makes great little dumplings for us and everything else kind of just filled itself in. We just have a love for Shaolong Bao, for, for dumplings and noodles and cocktails and we didn't really see anybody putting them together. So we thought it was something that we could do in this neighborhood and we were fortunate enough to find the building. behind Craftsman and Wolves itself? The vision was to do a, I spent a lot of time in France and in Japan uh, for pastry and um, I didn't think that that would actually just kind of translate here but also cooking at places like Quince in the Bay Area I wanted to do something that was a representation of, of California and, and kind of a Northern California product and so um, that was primarily the vision is a patisserie that has a little bit more focal point on kind of a seasonality and uh, spontaneity. Kind of speaking of delicious and intriguing I kind of want to talk about the Rebel Within. Um, one of the most Instagram uh, food items in the in San Francisco yeah, so one. can we just talk a little bit about that? Sure so the Rebel Within um, inspired originally by a product in a butcher shop in France which was all the ends of the scrap meats kind of baked in this savory cake. You know, because it's the most Instagram, because it gets a lot of talk, um, people come in and they're just like, do you guys have the egg thing? Do you, you know, do you have this? So it's definitely an introduction for people to kind of, oh, we gotta go here and get the egg thing. And then kind of be like, whoa, there's more than the egg thing. Can you disclose maybe another innovative thing that you might be brewing up in the kitchen? Actually, yes, I guess I can. Um, we've been currently working on um, croissanto again that we cut thin and we wrap around a metal tube and then we bake that till it's really crispy and then uh, we kind of we've been stuffing it with like different fruits and different things and so that's something we're working on it's kind of like a souped up cannoli maybe thank you so much My for sitting pleasure. down with me I really appreciate it